Do you want early access? Do you want uncut reactions? If so, then check out our Patreon. Link in the description down below. Well, we just got done saying congratulations to Chad and Nikki on hitting 20,000 subs, but they hadn't actually hit 20,000 subs yet. But they will, eventually, and we were just preemptively, like, doing the uh, celebration. But they might have by the time you see this video. Oh, exactly, because this will because be Because internet time travel. Yes, exactly. That's, yeah, yeah. time travel. Do, 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 do. Sorry. So, it's actually, we're recording this as an extra one tonight. Yes. And this will be two weeks from now whenever you all see this. Yeah. Currently, it is the 22nd of March as of us recording this. Except for the Patreon people who will see it one week from now. That's right. Y'all will be able to see it uh, a bit early. And if you're Logan, you're seeing this. Also, I've almost finished my second mug of this much beer, so. Yeah, so he's feeling good. I got a bit of a buzz. He's feeling good. The Smiling Friends are now doing a Halloween special. Which it is that time of year. Being March, what is it now? Twenty second. Twenty second. Yeah, it's almost close ha- enough. Almost Halloween, guys. Almost Halloween. Yeah, it's time to start decorating. Yep. Time to start uh, listening to spooky, you know, there, scary skeletons there, and all kinds of shit. There was a guy who actually you said something like this in a, re- a recent video, and the dude in the comment section was just like, "Dude, it's March." He's and you're just like, "Eh, close enough." Yeah, close enough. Close enough. It was because he was like, yeah, you reacted to this Nostalgia Critic, which is a Halloween video, and like, you know. Oh, was, that's right, yeah. And he's like, but it's March, and I'm like, close enough. Close enough, yeah. And plus, it was The Ring. I mean, we told ourselves we'd react to it eventually, and we never did, and I was like, you know what? I want to react to it, and I'm glad we did. So let's go ahead and get this up on screen. This is Smiling Friends Season 1, Episode 3, a silly Halloween special. I okay. just finished my beer. All right, let's go. Chuck? How would you define horror. If today's people put down their newfangled gizmos and gadgets, for a brief moment they probably start rambling on about Where have I seen this guy before? Like wars, plagues, he looks familiar as shit. Oh, he's the Joker. Charlie, what are you supposed to be? He doesn't want to dress up as anything. Listen, I, I've seen way too many people get their careers ruined over old Halloween costumes. I'm not doing it. Oh my I'm god, you're right. Some... I have no idea what's going to be offensive in ten years. Oh, come on, Charlie. Where's your Halloween spirit? When you put on a costume, you can be anything. Pim. Except you can't, because you get canceled. You're not going to hit you that, You need man. to pick those up when you're done. Don't leave them all over the floor. I'm like 100% positive you're not going to hit that. Okay, you actually hit it. Oh! oh! I'm so sorry. What the fuck, Pam? Hey, we're done with the gun stuff. Everyone? Oh! 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 Charlie Brown is ruined forever for me. Oh! Oh! We're all out of firewood, and it's just not the same without a big Halloween fire pit. Phone only some one could wrangle up some firewood. <sighs> oh, well. Oh, I could wrangle up some firewood. One more thing. Whatever you do, don't go beyond the rickety bridge. Why not? <laughs> because I simultaneously like and passionately hate the boss character. I like twigs and I want some more. <laughs> oh, thank you, Mr. Boot. Oh. I'm sure I had something with a bit more girth. Girth. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> We both did that at the same time. <laughs> what did the boss say about that rickety bridge again? Don't go beyond the rickety bridge. <laughs> You'll get lost. <laughs> <laughs> if I just mark the trees like a true pioneer, I'll be able to find my way back, no problem. <laughs> oh, oh, I've done that before. Oh, really? It fucking sucks. Just stay in view of the bridge and you would have been fine. Yeah. Easy. Uh, all right, that's about all I can carry. I should probably get back to the office anyway. <laughs> uh oh. Fail. Damn, Pim. Maybe it'll take you to the rickety bridge. Oh, great. What you doing here, boy? Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, his phone just got submerged in the river. So. Oh, just and it got the fucked up. Down. It, like, Didn't the screen broke. Gonna be fine? Cause they were... Oh, hell. Brace the door, brace the door! <laughs> oh, it's been nailed shut, you're trapped. Brace the door, brace the door, brace the door! You'll 
Squeeze your little ass out that chimney, boy. You can tell exactly where he is. The cowboy hat. Why don't you just be Charlie trying to find him? Oars. Where are the oars? Oh, come on. My fudge. Oh, oh no. It followed you, Pim. That wasn't Charlie. No. Oh! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> it looked like it was clay animated. It Jesus is. Jesus Christ. Oh, God. Go, go Pim, go. Go. <laughs> Back door is firing. Run, man, run! Uh oh. Whoa! Is that fucking blackface, dude? No, 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 no! This isn't blackface. I'm an actual demon. Wait. <laughs> what? <laughs> Watching cartoons, we've been getting complaints all night. You need to leave. Why? What law am I breaking? That'll be Title 18, Chapter 55, Section 5506. Loitering, prowling at night. Oh, he's not wearing pants. <laughs> oh. <laughs> of course. And he just shit his britches. <laughs> That's probably my favorite one so far. <laughs> Who was that guy? I, I'm wondering who that guy was. Damn it. That, because, let's see. I know Zach and Mike. Uh, Clyde Borain. David Dory. I don't know. I really don't know. To click again and see if it has a guest starring. Oh, 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 oh. Live action shoot. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. No? Okay. Time to Google. Smiling friends. I'm sorry. While you Google, I'll be right back. Episode four. Host. Host character. And there Nick goes. Ah. I know where he's going. Let's see. Jim No uh Noblock. Hold on. Holy I thought I recognized it. Oh my god. Dude. Wow. Okay. He was in Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman. Dude. Unbelievable. I thought I recognized him from somewhere. I, uh, the dude, the host. His name's Jim Novelock. Uh,. He was in, uh, he was in Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman. Hmm. 
I remember I remember seeing his character a couple of times. Damn. Sorry, I had to return my beer rental. Yeah, I, I figure. Uh, also, uh, yeah, that's just... That's awesome. Also, he's American-Australian. He moved to Australia in 2001. I I didn't know that. Hmm. But there you go. That was, that was Smiling Friends Episode 4, the Silly Halloween Special. Hey, Nick, remember what I was saying around Halloween? Like, if I just showed up covered in black soot... Like, you think people would get offended? And you and I said, but if I come in there and I say, oh, no, I'm a coal miner, and they don't know what my context is, people would probably assume that it was blackface or something like that. I, I can't help but just think to myself, like, if I ever did that in public, and I was just like, oh, no, no, I'm a coal miner. And they're like, dude, that's blackface. That's wrong. And I'm like... I'm a coal miner. They wouldn't care. The mob would literally just assume the worst. You'd get all your limbs pulled off and you'd be lit on fire and eaten by people. Yeah. I'd basically I'd basically receive the uh, the Ymir treatment. That's why it's the best idea just to not dress up for Halloween, I guess. Yeah. Uh, I mean, honestly, it's like you dress up as Superman. Next thing you know, it comes out that Siegel and Schuster were like, were like serial murderers and all that. All of a sudden, it's like, is it cool to dress up as Superman still? No. How about, how about? well, Bob Kane's a, a piece of garbage because of his treatment of Bill Finger. But I am I always think Batman will be a good... Uh, I went with a classic this Halloween. I went with Freddy Krueger. And it's like, oh, you didn't know? Wes Craven was out of us being a supreme racist when he was alive. Yeah, so... It's like, Jesus Christ, you can't get it, do anything anymore. No, you can't. Even if it... Well... There's people who've come after various other, and here's the thing, rightfully so. Some of them have deserved it. But, let's be honest, guys. I mean, in terms of the overall impact that they have on your lives, I mean, as long as they don't make you into a bad person. I mean, for instance, I me, I look at why people dress up a certain thing. For instance, Sasha Baron Cohen dressed up as a Nazi and walked into a synagogue. He's Jewish. Like, Sasha Baron Cohen is Jewish. And, honestly, I don't see... I, I, I see the comedy in it to a certain degree, the shock factor. But, at the same time, he he said it before. I'm not out here to, like, to like uh, make people, like... I, I'm out here to, like, today to shock people. And, again, I'm not going to, like, Ari Shafir, same thing, when he did like very edgy stuff back in the early days which Ari Shafir is kind of a piece of garbage in certain regards because of his uh his stance on like drugging people he did that to Burt Kreischer he dropped acid into Burt Kreischer's beer and got Burt Kreischer high on acid without Burt Kreischer knowing yeah see I don't like that at all no that's bullshit spiking drinks like I would never spike someone's drink it's just like come on man I want to have fun tonight it's like, I don't know, man. It's like, here, one beer. He's like, all right, I'll have one beer. We're going to have some fun tonight. Drops acid into the beer. It's like, here you go, bro. Like, dude, that's garbage behavior. Why would you support that? Yeah. But, no, nobody's going to have fun with acid when you just put it in their fucking drink. Yeah. You're either being a asshole or a supreme asshole. Well, because you're either being an yeah. asshole because you expect them to have fun, but they're not going to. Or you're being a supreme asshole because you do it because you know they're not gonna have fun, and in that case, fuck you. Yeah, like you're I a agree. fucking dick. Yeah, you're you're kind like, of like especially you put someone on a drug that stretches time like acid does. Acid makes it feel like you trip for about twelve hours on acid. It makes it feel like about forty eight. Yes. Like that's fucked up, man. Like don't do that to people. What that the is fuck? that is pretty messed up. It's, it's like yeah, <laughs> slip some crystal meth into your tea, like. Why would you do that? Uh, just a prank, bro. Now you're addicted to the crystal meth, bro. Yeah. Like, it's like... It's fucking like, do peop- suck here, shit to people without their consent. Here's what I would do. Here's what I would do. I'd find out later. Like Prank like, is shit that doesn't right. have any lasting effects on people. Like, come the fuck on, man. Yeah. And for me, my whole thing Even then, is, pranks uh, are still just a dickhead move to start with. Like To a certain degree. Like, small, small pranks, like jumping out from behind a door to be like, Bah! I got you. You know, like, made well, you jump. Well, again... Like, Here's, here's the thing that I think is, like, when it comes to public stuff like that, like, if you're, like, trolling the public, like, Steve-O, 
did one where he was a dead body in a corner, you know, covered in blood Which, and all dude, that. Dude, like, those kind of things are, like, also not going to, like, long-lastingly affect very many people. Like, all of a sudden, Steve-O stands up, and he's just like, hey, sorry, guys. Yeah, I'm just here. Uh, and he has full permission to be there from the police. Like, the police know he's there doing a prank. Yeah. And he uh, eventually he... And then also, there's other ones, like the T-Rex or the Velociraptor, uh, like, walking out from behind a doorway. Like, that would freak people out. That freaks out. Like... Yeah. <gasps> like and I love the one where they had a, a, a freaking uh, advertisement for a uh, horror movie. Yeah. Um, it was either The Grudge or The Ring or something related to it at one point. And they had an actual little girl dressed up like that in the box holding still. And then when as people would walk by, she would actually like creep out of the box and like creep after them, you know. And they turn around and be like, oh, shit. <laughs> like that kind of shit's hilarious. But it. There's one here. This one Scaring getting, people is different from fucking submitting them to drugs they're not so you see, consenting to be submitted to. This one right here is one that I think is pretty funny. Uh, they invite these people in for a job interview. People think, oh, it's a job interview. Okay. They come in and they see this beautiful skyline behind them. This All right, so like this a, would already go ahead and piss me off a little bit. Because I'm trying to get my life on track by going to a job interview, and you've just invited me to a fake job interview and wasted my time. Uh, so no. I'm already kind of this, not At okay. the end of this, they gave these people like a good amount of money, like a few thousand dollars. Uh, I might be okay with it then. I'd yeah. Like, this is the only reason I'm okay with this. Because this right here is a legitly hilarious one. Because look at this. And they make a like, nu- nuke go off in the background. Oh, not a nuke. Uh, watch. Like, behind them, like, all of a sudden, uh, you you feel, like, a shaking and all that. But then they see this, like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And then... Look out. Look out. Look out. Yeah. Just, like, people start flipping out a little bit there. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Get out. Get out. Jesus Christ, man. Well, it's so photorealistic. Like, like, all of a sudden, there's like, oh my gosh, ah! And they get down, take cover. And... All of a sudden, like, they're... Like, they're done, they're like, what's going on? What's going on? And then, lights come back on. And it's like, hey, surprise, we got you. LG, it's an LG HDTV. <laughs> that one just freaking out legit. He's like, he's like, what are you doing? That dude, like, <laughs> and you see, some people are cool. They're like, oh my gosh, you guys are jerks. No, you see her right there. She's laughing. I still have to say no to that. Like, there's a difference between startling people, making people jump, and like legitimately like. Making someone fear for their absolute fucking life. I don't know. For me, for like a long period of time, I would have punched them in the face. Like I would have been arrested for assault because, like, I like would have walked in and been like, "Ah, it's a prank! It's a prank! It's a prank!" And I would have fucking knocked someone out. Like I would have been pissed. Like I'm such an anxious person. Like I worry about Uh, like you know just instantly dying like that. Who had the same thought process as you? It's like you know what the worst is. Sorry, honey, the job interview was a prank. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it amazed me no one broke the TV out of anger. Uh, it really does look real. Great way to demonstrate how amazing your product is. Uh, best prank I've seen on YouTube. Uh, best commercial. Yeah. Again, I I think that there's It depends on the it. person you get, I guess. There's people who could take it in good humor. I'm probably not one of them for that particular prank. Fair enough. Like, fair, you, fair you would have got me and wish you hadn't have got me with it if that was the prank you pulled on me because I would have been legitimately terrified for my life. I would have been praying to my God. Like, it would have been... Yeah. I would have shit my pants. Like, it wouldn't have been great at all for anybody involved. And I would have knocked somebody the fuck out when they told me it was a prank afterwards, too. They all of a sudden, there's like, it's a prank, it's a prank, it's a prank. Pow, right I get jaw. humor, but there's just going beyond a line at a point with certain things for me. And that's going beyond a line for me. Yeah. I don't like the idea of making people fear for their life. Fair like, enough. Just startling people being like, ah! You know, like, and then like, ah, it's a prank. Like, you know, that's one thing. But like. 
literally like cowering in a room, like probably pissing on yourself. Like, no, that's not a prank at that it's point. It's a bit much. It's cruel. Yeah. All right. Well, I think that's going to do it, everyone. Uh, this was uh, Smiling Friends, episode four, a silly Halloween special. And it was a great one. This is probably my favorite episode, too, i got to say, so far. Because that, that creature looked legitimately terrifying. But then when it was in the room with everyone else, like, all of a sudden, it was like, oh. Yeah. Yeah, you done <laughs> fucked up. But, all right. Thanks again, everybody. And I guess until next time, signing off, I'm Nate. I'm Nick. See you later, then. Peace. Peace. <laughs>